is upside down. So what I'm gonna do is, honestly, I don't know. <laughs> There's just so much stuff, you guys. Hi everyone, it's Karis. If you are new to my channel, welcome. If you are not, welcome back. So my craft area is absolutely so messy. I have so many things everywhere and it's because that I just have like no time to organize anything and it is a mess. So I actually ordered two. They're like makeup organizers, acrylic makeup organizers, and I'm gonna use them to organize some of my small stuff because this will not do. <laughs> so let me get those organizers. This is the first one, and I think this is upside down. This is the first one, and basically it looks exactly like this picture here. And this is the other one that I have, and it looks exactly like that picture again. <laughs> so what I'm gonna do is, honestly, I don't know. <laughs> it's so hard to figure out where I wanna start with all of this because there's just so much stuff, you guys. Like, ugh. <laughs> I guess the first order of business is to create some room so that I can put these makeup organizers up and start putting things in them. So I think I'm going to start doing that. So these are supposed to be stackable pieces so like you can take one off and all that stuff and if you wanted to buy a whole new like set of the same thing or maybe a different one like this one that I have you can stack it on top and like they lock onto each other and stuff so like they're locked in place. On the inside of them they have these really thin just felt mat thing and they just kind of go into the drawer and just rest in there and the drawers are like really smooth and they do come out all the way so there's no like stopper or anything that's gonna stop them from coming out. There's a ton of room in here too so I'm so excited about these and I am so ready to put some stuff in them. I originally got them because I wanted to do something with all of my safety eyes because I have so many safety eyes and so many different types of safety eyes that I wanted to get like an organized where I could put them in there and like have a little label on there that tells me what size they are and all that stuff so then also I can keep track of how much of the safety eyes I have and when I need to refill them and all that other fun stuff but there's other things that I want to do and put in here I seriously and desperately need to organize this mess here these plastic things are little locker organizer things and I just want to take all of the junk that is on here off of here and find a new home for it because this is just not working for me anymore. Let me go ahead and open up my other one so that we can see what kind of space we're working with. you guys this thing is so tall so now we have this big massive organizer and we have this one i did forget to mention that the smaller one was 29 dollars on amazon and the bigger one was like 45 dollars on amazon i will definitely leave the links in the description box below if you want to check those out for yourself i'm pretty happy with these and now i just need to start putting things in them i'm probably gonna reserve these six boxes here for some safety eyes I think I want to put my stickers in this one because I have so many stickers you guys like I buy a bunch of sticker packs off of Timu and stuff to put in my orders and I just have so many of them and I don't want them just like lying about I'd rather just have them in there so I can grab them real quick so I don't know if I want to use this one for it though or if I want to use one of these for the stickers and there's just so much that I need to figure out where I want to put this <laughs> I think I'm just gonna start putting some things in places and go from there
I just finished doing what I could. There's still a lot of stuff everywhere. I will show you guys going over it, but I'm gonna finish it up tomorrow because this is definitely not exactly how I want it, but it is looking much better. So it's Sunday now. <laughs> not exactly the next day, but close enough. Anyway, I spent the rest of yesterday just kind of reorganizing and making sure everything had its place. And then I also had a huge shipment of stuff to do my own gel nails. I just did these yesterday and I am so proud of how these turned out you guys I'm so excited but yes yeah, so I bought quite a few things that now take up space on my desk so I did my nails and then I figured out where to put all that stuff on my desk and organize it so it wasn't so jumbled and stuff so now I can finally show you guys the after and what everything looks like now so this is the final look ignore this stuff right here because I'm still trying to figure out what I'm going to do with it I use this as like my yarn bowl my makeshift yarn bowl and right now there's some other stuff in it and i'm just such a pack rat i feel like you guys but look at this organization you guys like this is i am so excited about that these are all of my nail stuff that i said that i just bought yesterday so i kind of like tried to find a spot for those. I do plan on adding another desk. We're actually just about to move into our new house. So I will have my own craft room and I will be able to have more space to put things in. These little drawers just kind of have everything that I need to pack everything and make things. This is for my clay stuff. These are all my clay cutters and this is all to be completed clay project. This stuff here is just um, a few miscellaneous stuff, but mainly the stuff to poach the clay project products after they are done to give them a nice and shiny finish. Right here I have all of my pre-filled goodie bags with stickers. I'm waiting on another shipment of my business cards to put those in there, but once I have those, then I will put them in there. And each one of these just goes inside of every package that I ship out from my Etsy. And then here is all of the stickers that I put in my little goodie bags. Here I had some pre-made mini gummy bears but i ended up packing a ton of orders not too long ago and just putting those gummy bears in the goodie bags and shipping those out so now i only have like four of them and i have to make more again <laughs> but that's where those go these are earrings that i have made in the past and like they're usually the first pair of earrings that i have made that i keep and kind of wear and test out myself you guys, I am so excited about these. I love these. These are my absolute favorite clay earrings I have ever made before. I love these guys so much. They're little mini mummies and the little wrapping is glow in the dark. So these are just like the cutest Halloween earrings. I love these so much, you guys. I just have to say that. But yeah, so I have a ton of just like my first pair earrings in here. Right here, I have my business cards that I put in my packages and stuff and then my my thank you cards as well and the thank you cards are the ones that I'm waiting on for my little goodie bags and back here this one is just the clothing tags for my butterfly tops and any other clothing item that might need some care instructions to go along with it I can get it out of the box goodness okay yeah these are my clothing tags and it has all my socials but on the back it'll have the price the size and how to care for your crochet item I made these off of Canva both of both these and my business cards so if you wanted to make your own that is where i did it completely free if you use all of the free stuff you don't have to buy pro to make some good cards here i have some more miscellaneous things this is the gold foil that i use for my black and gold roses and a little mini uh, uv light to cure the uv resin in here i have all of my keychain stuff my tools to use that and extra little bags and now for the thing that i am most excited about you guys this is this makes me so happy i have all of my safety eyes in these drawers now with their little bags and they're labeled so i have my 18 millimeter my 15 my 10 my 6 8 millimeters i think i'm gonna have 12 millimeters in here and these two are just kind of like placeholders right now but i also have felt eyes that i got i haven't used felt eyes yet but i am so excited to use these on this penguin pattern that i bought off etsy i am so excited about that and then these ones are just little closed winking eyes i guess you could say but yeah i am super excited about this i love that i can just pull out a drawer grab the eyes that i need and just close it 
without having to just go grab the bag, open the bag, and do all that other fun stuff. So there's some miscellaneous stuff up top here. <laughs> this was the brush thing that I thought that I wasn't going to use, but it turns out that it is like perfect for all of my like trial run little clay objects and it's like a cute little display thing and I just love that so much you guys like that's just like the coolest little thing there is my display stuff and then that is the trial bat I tested this bat pattern for loops and knots crochet and I actually have a video coming out on that as well here shortly. All of my yarn cakes that I wound. This is my little sunflower. I was going to turn this into a sunflower flower, but I decided to just use it as like a little pin cushion to put my darning needles and my stitch markers in and they're already open and just like ready to go. And this has been so helpful. I have been using this nonstop utility wise. This is just awesome. Again, there's not a whole lot of room on my desk and I hope to get another one one but oh my goodness you guys it just looks so much better still pretty cluttered but so much better i am so glad that i got all of that stuff organized and that it looks so much better you guys i'm so happy about that again we are about to move into our new house and i'll have my own crafting room and i'm so looking forward to that because i want a yarn wall with the cubes that i've been seeing everybody have like and their yarn is organized behind them i love that so much it's so cute and i have so much yarn that really really needs to find a home but for the time being this is really nice. I'm so glad I have this stuff. Thank you guys so much for coming along with me while I organize everything. I know that it was such a mess, but we finally got it done. And thank you so much for coming along with me while I did that. If you want to see more videos like that, be sure to subscribe because I do come out with a new video every week. Thank you guys so much for watching again, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Bye for now.